Hello, I'm Tim Lawton, the Conservative candidate for East Worthing and Shoreham in the general election. And in today's podcast, I just want to cover the subject of fair funding for our schools. This is a really hot topic around here, and it's an issue that I've been involved with for many months, battling with other West Sussex Conservative MPs to make sure our schools in Sussex get a much fairer share of the funding cake. Now, last night we had a hustings at the Shoreham Centre about education. It was well attended, feelings were running high, but there was also a lot of misinformation. And I want to allay some of those fears. I've just had an email, for example, from somebody who says, my granddaughters go to school in Worthing and they've been led to believe by the school that you want to cut school funding so that the school will only be able to open four days a week. Well, that is just complete nonsense. And frankly, if any schools are putting out that sort of information, then it's not doing anybody any good at all. The facts are, there are no cuts in education. Funding to our schools, the school's budget, under this government in the last five years has gone up in real terms by 3%. In the Conservative Manifesto, we've pledged to add a further £4 billion to the school's um, budget. We're going to be spending £23 billion on our schools and school places over the next few years, creating an extra 600,000 places in our schools, refurbishing 500 existing schools as well as building uh, new schools. That's not a cut, that's an investment. Now the question is, and the question for us really is, are we going to get a fair share of that funding cake here in West Sussex? And that's where we've got a lot more work to do. Because we've raised this subject with the government, because I've had lots of meetings with Justin Greening, the Education Secretary, the government has agreed that they are going to review the funding formula. No government before has agreed to do that. It was a manifesto commitment we made back in 2015 and the government is carrying out that commitment. So they've had two consultations on how we make the funding formula much fairer. Now the problem is the last consultation still doesn't quite get it right. The problem is in West Sussex, a child here will get something like £4,200 per head per year. That's well below the average across the country of 4,650, and of course well below some of the boroughs in London where if you live in Islington, for example, a child, an equivalent school there, will be getting over £7,000. Now there's a reason they should be getting more with the various challenges they have, but should the gap be so big? And of course it shouldn't. So that's why we have got to get a fairer share of the funding cake for our children, and that is what I will be continuing to battle for when hopefully I get re-elected to Parliament on June the 8th. So let's not believe the scare stories. There aren't cuts. There has never been as much money spent on our schools. There are some funding pressures coming up for things like teachers pay rises, pensions and uh, apprenticeship uh, levy and we've got to make sure we have enough money to cover that and to close part of that gap so that our kids get a fair share of that funding, get a decent education in our schools, with some of our teachers doing a fantastic job in difficult circumstances. But I will continue to work with our teachers, our governors, our heads and our parents to make sure that our children get the very best start in life in our schools and get a better share, a fairer share of that funding cake. Please don't believe the scare stories. Look at what we said in our manifesto, an extra four billion pounds going into the school's budget. I want a large portion of that to come to my constituents and my uh, uh, my schools and the children in those schools in East Worthing and Shoreham and I vote for me. We'll make sure that happens.